First of all, uh, my name's Dan. I'm sober uh, 20 years. My sobriety date's May 27th, 1990. Um, my uh, drug of choice was amphetamines and alcohol. I'm here at Always Hope. Uh, uh, this is a place uh, some friends of mine have, have tried to get going to uh, help other people recover from drug addiction and alcohol addic addiction period. One of the things, uh, I guess one of the stories that was important to me was I, I uh, when I first got sober, um, got a lot of fear. And like I had a, at that time I had a two year old, about a two and a half year old son. Um, I got, I had lost my family uh, because of my, my drug addiction. I lost my marriage and uh, was separated from my child. And uh, uh, you know, they kept, I had a, I had a great, uh, had a lot of pressure, you know, to make up for lost time. You know, I was trying to straighten my life out in like two weeks and it was pretty fucking overwhelming. And uh, they kept assuring me, you know, if, if if uh, if I stayed sober, I'd have myself to offer, you know, to uh, to my family and to my kids. And uh, you know, and I've really I didn't quite understand that when I first got sober. And, and today, I, I really understand what that means. You know, today I have myself to offer my sober, uh, who I am sober, not some drunken, drugged up version of me, but but actually me. And I, I feel pretty comfortable today in, in uh, who I am. And and. Uh, and I'm really grateful for that. You know, my son's, uh, he's 22 year old. He's 22 years old today. He's, uh, he's been married for about a year. He joined the Navy. Uh, he's on the U.S. Ronald Reagan. And uh, I'm really, really proud of that. You know, he has no, I was very fortunate. He has no, uh, no memory of my, me ever using. So for that, I'm really, really grateful. My dad also has, uh, uh, a little over 20 years also, you know, we got sober together. And, and for that, you know, I, I owe this process, you know, my life. And one of the things I'm most grateful for today in my life is to actually be a witness for other people to recreate their lives and get, get their families back and and, uh, and not say that they're perfect or, or uh, saints or anything like that, but to actually have uh, uh, developed long-term friendships with other people, you know. That's gives my life a great meaning today. If if you're busted, disgusted, and can't be trusted, there's always hope. <laughs>